Yeah, played a couple bowl games at your tenure in Middle Tennessee as well. 2009 New Orleans Bowl champion. So, got a lot of good memories here, I bet. No, nah, definitely, man. Anytime you can be a part of history and, and being blessed to be a part of that 10-3 uh, season, best uh, record in school history uh, is amazing. Uh, I talk to some of my friends all the time. We just laugh about the great memories. And once again, you, you see the mobility by Pilgrim coming into play. He was able to buy extra time by moving around in the pocket. He scrambled with purpose, not to run, but to find an open man in touchdown. Six touchdown of the year, still no interceptions. Great job by Tyrell Pigman. And DQ Thomas is the playmaker. Comes up with a great sack force fumble right here. And Coach Schaefer dials up pressure. And look what happens when you send pressure. And I know one thing Poydras does after practice, he must do rice grips because that was a strong <laughs> tackle right there. Those rice grips do work. And coming into this game, Devin Key is second in, in tackles on WKU's defense. Has a forced fumble, and now you can add an interception to that on the season. This is a great play. Coming out of deep middle, Reed's quarterback shoulder. The previous play gets the toe tap in. Is under review. And this is what modern day football is turning into. If you don't have a quarterback that can throw or run when the play breaks down, then you Come might out. find yourself in trouble. Yes, I mean, you see it all through the NFL, just quarterbacks that are mobile. They don't have to be you know, speedsters, but they're able to get out of the pocket, get a first down. Russell Wilson, great at it. Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. This is what modern day offense, offenses are turning into. Now, if, I, if I'm a D coordinator right now, I'm definitely thinking that if they do throw it, they're probably aiming towards the sidelines because they don't have any timeout. So to run something in the middle of the field, time is going to run. They may not have enough time to set up for a field goal. So I'm definitely, as a DB, I'm thinking out route, out route. Xavier Lane came into the game with only one reception and has made multiple receptions all game and came up with the biggest play for WKU thus far. Another touchdown pass for Pilgrim. That's five on the year. And this is what I was just talking about on this drive, that, that though MTSU was up by a touchdown, you still you can't relax because this drive turns into a confidence builder. So when WKU goes in, into halftime, Coach Helton would tell them, you see what we can do on MTSU. You watched that last drive. Now let's go do it again. Now doubt can creep in the minds of MTSU's defense. Like, hey, can we stop them? Like, yes, you can stop them if you are sending the blitz. But as we keep dropping in zone and allowing them to get big gains, it's going to create problems for MTSU. Now, being a former DB, I'm a little biased. Roger Cray is very crafty. Watch the little snug here. He grabs the receiver to him, but the referee is on his backside, so he can't see the tub. So great play by Roger Cray. Quincy Riley keeping leverage. He had outside leverage, kept his outside shoulder free, and was able to make a form tackle. He has been awesome all game long. I'm very impressed by Quincy Riley. And another thing that this drive does, even if it doesn't end in points, it's a confidence builder. When they get into halftime, Coach Helton will reference this drive right here. Yes, coming into the game, like I, he has not thrown an interception. One of six quarterbacks in the nation that has at least four touchdown passes and zero interceptions. So he's taking care of the ball in the air, but he's not. That was very careless of him. When you see a defender coming in, um, you are taught, you are coached as a QB to tuck the ball away, protect the ball. You can't just have it waving out like a loaf of bread because you could get sacked and fumble the ball. So at worst, that play should have just ended up in a pure set. No forced fumble on that one. But fortunate for them, they were able to recover. By day Wade got behind the DBs, the safety in the corner. And one thing, playing DB, you must be deeper than the deepest. That is your responsibility. So there must have been a busted coverage right there. Great coverage by Kenneth Major. It looked like he was in man coverage. He made a man turn, ran, got even with the receiver, and was able to fade back into him.